idea to do a clutch adjustment on a Kenworth. It's got a Cummins motor in it. I believe a 13 speed. I could be wrong though. So let me get my stuff together and I'll uh, get back with you guys. Alright. It's kind of raining and pissy out day after Thanksgiving. I may not fit under here with all the turkey I had to eat. We'll see. But I got my tarp down because I'm fragile and I don't like to get wet. Let me get y'all situated here. We're back in business. Alright, so I already bumped the starter over a couple times. I use this little thingamajigger right here. This it's just a little thing hooked up to the starter. Bump it around there. To get that stuff turned around. Let me show you what's up in here. That's where we're after is. You want this adjustment nut here on the bottom. So it's got a couple of keepers there we're gonna have to take off. But let me get that taken down and and uh, we'll go from there. I don't know if I can do it with y'all one hand but we'll find out how well this is gonna go we'll find out here in a minute just want to release these little keepers here says to turn it like clockwise for adjustment. So I already got the, the clutch pushed in. So I'll give it I don't know, I'll do six turns. Yes. <sighs> I guess what I call normal place for the clips to be would be a little bit of play uh, at the bottom all the way to the floor and then come back up and then it starts to engage, I don't know, about three inches from the floor, give or take, uh, and then a couple inches of play at the top, so. Let me do two more, just for good measure, because I gotta go back up top. Man, it's in the rain, so. It is you know, after Thanksgiving, so anyway, let me go take you guys up top. Let's see what we got. All right, we're back up top again. Let's see what we got here.
Where's your play? That's not too bad. And that's where the clutch starts to engage right there. So I'd say that's pretty decent right there. So I don't know what I did, probably eight turns maybe. Probably wasn't complete turns each time, it was about a half a turn each time. So I think we'll deal with that. Anyway, just a quick little quickie on a clutch adjustment. Nothing big, spectacular, but I'll go back under there and let y'all see me put stuff back together. So Alright, we're back. Sorry about all the whatnot. It's kind of, this is just a little, kind of a key keeper type thing. It doesn't let the nut turn. But you gotta turn it enough to make it where it'll sit down in there, see? And you gotta put this little screw back in it, or bolt. It won't go back in there all the way. Or if you can't get it going, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to turn that again. And it ain't gonna start. So I'm gonna have to go back. Just so that key will that bolt will line up. Let's try that and see what happens. Piece right there this time. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to loosen that other one so I can bring that hole down just a tad. Just a little bit. Uh, we could probably potentially get that hole lined up now. Or not. Maybe that did it. Let me try to loosen it up just a tad more so it'll turn in theory. Oh, the struggles. business. Yeah, that clutch was pretty well off. I'll show you guys here in a minute what I'm talking about. Let me get this done. Just for the record, my butt soaked. <laughs> I put a tarp down, but it started raining over the top of it. Now, well, 
There's just no hope. I might as well just give up on it. Just deal with it. I had a couple of other jobs planned today, but neither one of them are going to go through. One of them was a uh, radiator. And he ain't going to make it back in town. And then I got a compressor change. Or we think it's a compressor. I don't I don't know. I haven't been out there yet, but I ain't building air. It could be a million things. But I don't know if that'll happen today. One of them didn't make it back. And the other one, uh, I don't know what his deal is. But. in there. touched when we first started this it was that throw up bearing was clear up against that so uh, that's good enough I think you'll be happy with it so anyway that's that we'll leave that the way it is because there wasn't nothing holding it on there so anyway just a quick thing on a clutch if you need some info on it there you I try to take the basics whenever I do clutch adjustment almost all the same, well, some of them. So, sometimes you never know what you're going to need until you get under there. Anyway, like I was telling you, sometimes you don't know what in the hell you're going to need until you get under there. So. Well, that got soaked, that's for damn sure. I'm like a soggy dog. Anyway, let me put this shit away. <laughs> it didn't take long to get soaked. The rain started pouring. Too. Anyway, that's that. Put my phone up. Most typically, I listen to music while I'm working on these fast trucks, but. I don't know what all the laws are for listening to music and airing it if they don't want it to be aired or if they want to be paid for it. So.
I use that. It's just an old mud flap, but it's really, it's like a polyester or polyurethane or what. It's really slippery, and it works really good for sliding around on concrete. Because most of the time I can't fit under these trucks with a creeper, unless it's like a W9 or a plastic or something like that. But for the most part, I can't use a creeper because uh, I just can't fit underneath it. In the back, maybe in the middle, but not up underneath the hood or what, or underneath the cab of the truck. So I use that little polyurethane mud flap and, uh, and slide around on the pavement with that. It keeps me up off the ground. wet, I know, but it'll dry out here. Either that or I'll take it out. And I keep all my all my junk up here. My extra cords and some zippies. My top box up there. So, anyway, that's that, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. And, uh, you know, so, um, I guess we'll holler at you next time. See ya.